So hello, uh, my name is Brian Avance, and I'm Jim G. And we're from the Penn Image Computing and Science Laboratory. We're here to discuss um, strategies and the importance of um, registration and normalization for looking at uh, mouse brain from a variety of modalities. And that's the purpose of this registration clinic. Uh, as part of the Waxham uh, Task Force, building infrastructure that allow people to uh, map their own user data into this space and uh, today's clinic is to allow people to walk in and um, hopefully advise them on how to, to do that and registration being uh, the main task with which is uh, necessary to be able to do this. Right, so for instance, uh, longer term people would like to be able to automatically search for gene expression patterns across large populations of, of um, images that have been stained and uh, they need a tool to automatically be able to localize anatomy um, into a common space so we, what we can see here is um, an example mouse brain with labelings each color represents neuroanatomy and because every individual sample is a little bit different these images have to be um, deformed and co-localized into the, a coordinate system such as this in order to achieve this long-term goal of a searchable database of anatomy and say gene expression or other cell type other measurements and because the data that the users generate are um, very heterogeneous in nature everybody has their own protocols in which they acquire the data uh, the purpose of the, today's registration clinic is actually help these individuals with the very idiosyncratic nature of their own data in terms of how the tools that we're developing are made available through INCF uh, might be uh, adapted or you know, refined to help them uh, map their own data into uh, INCF uh, waxing space. And because the tools that we uh, use in this application area are very general, we also are supporting um, users who have uh, general registration or segmentation problems. And we try to, to promote uh, a core infrastructure that's um, used in a variety of domains.